Hello and welcome to Phuket Pulse GED Express Screencast. With me, Teacher Marky. Today's lesson focuses on the levels of organization. This is under GED Science, specifically in Biology. Now, at the end of the discussion, every one of you is expected to apprehend, identify, predict, and differentiate each levels of organization from smallest to largest scale. Now we begin with the cell. Cell is known as the building blocks of life. And if you're going to combine two cells together, that will give you a tissue. The, fun the function of tissues is that it works hand in hand with other tissues to form a specific function. Now next we have here an organ. An organ is basically a combination of two or more tissues and they also perform a specific function. Now, if you're going to combine two or more organs together, that will give you an organ system. An organ system is performing some particular set of functions on different living species. Now, if you're going to group all those organ systems, that will make up an organism. Now, that organism is being defined as anything living that is made of cells and needs energy, excretes waste, grows, responds, reproduces, and uses gases. Now, cluster of organism that is living on a specific area is known as a population that means they have the same roles and they have the same organization within a specific location now we have here community community is defined as a group of different populations living in an area or a location now a combination of different community will give you an ecosystem under here we are also considering the non-living things that is existing within that area now since you already have a complete understanding on the different levels of organization let's have a short activity now i'm going to flash pictures after this slide and you just need to identify what level of organization does it belong now we have here the first example can you guess what level is it You're right, the answer is animal organism. How about this photo? You see in their cluster of organelles? So what level is it? Correct, that is a plant cell or just cell. How about this photo? So, the answer is animal system that is considered as a nerv nervous system on the human body. How about this one? You see in there several cells working together. So, what level is it? The answer is tissue. You got it right. How about this photo? So you see they're just a part of a plant. Now what level is it? The answer is organ or plant organ. You're right. How about this one? This is very easy for you. So that is basically a snail. And what level is it now you're right that's great this is considered as an organism 
How about this photo? The answer is cell or animal cell. Very good. How about this one? So you see the several cells that are joined together. What level is it? You're right. That is an example of an animal tissue. We have the next picture. This is also easy. So what level is it? Precisely, that is an animal organism. How about this one? You see there are several cells that are combined together. Then what level is it? Great, that is a plant tissue. How about this one? So that is a marine animal, but it's only showing the skeleton of that species. So what level is it? Excellent. That is an animal system. How about this photo? So that is a leaf. Then what level is it? Very good. That is a plant organ. How about this one? You see in there an intestine. So what level is it? Good job. That is an animal organ. Next, we have here this one. You see there are several cells that are slightly far from each other. What level is it? Correct, that is an animal tissue. How about this one? So you can see intestine, stomach, and pancreas. So what level is it? Good job, that is an animal system that is known as digestive system. Next, we have here this one. The brain is connected with the spinal cord and the spinal cord is also connected with the peripheral nerves. So what level is it? Exactly, that is an animal system. How about this one? This will be our last picture and can be considered as one of the easiest too. You're right, that is an animal organism. The, fo the photo is showing a turtle. It seems like all of you have a great understanding of our topic for today. Great job, everyone. Now, for the lesson summary, you need to consider the following terminologies or you need to bear that in mind. Now let's have a quick recall. An atom is specifically the smallest unit of matter. An atom fused with another atom will give you a molecule. And a molecule makes up an organelle. Combination of organelle makes up a cell. And a cell combined with another cell will give you a tissue. And tissue combined with another tissue will form an organ. An organ combined with another organ will make up a system. A system or sets of system makes up an organism. And on, the lar on a larger scale or on a larger level, group of organisms living on the same area makes up a population. And a cluster of population makes a community. And if we're going to consider the now living things that is existing within an area that will give you an ecosystem an ecosystem that is grouped with other form of ecosystem that will make up 
a biome and biome can be found on the biosphere where the part of the earth that life is existing now for the references that we have used for today we have here reading essentials for biology Glencoe 2017 and Glencoe Biology Macro Hill Education. You can also make use of these references if you want to have an advanced reading on our future topics. And that would be all for today's screencast. Thank you so much for watching. And since you are already here, you might as well like and share this video if you find it helpful. And you can also subscribe to our channel. You can also connect with us and visit us at our website at www.bookitpulse.org or you can go to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash bookitpulse and if you have inquiries or questions regarding our organization, you can contact us directly through LINE or call us at 081-417-0978. That will be all and thank you so much. I hope to see you on my next screencast. Goodbye everyone.